I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. And it's time for repetition. Repetition? Repetition. Hey, haven't I already done this before? Repetition. Now, in particular, what I'm talking about is SRS, which is to say spaced repetition system. This is a really groovy thing that you can use when you have a bunch of little factoids that you need to learn. And by factoid, I mean it in the most loosest generalist of senses. Like, okay, sure, if you really wanted to, you could probably use this to memorize a good chunk of Trivial Pursuit. But in particular, what I'm talking about would be a great way for you to, for instance, learn all of the Japanese letters, kanji, katagana, and hiragana, or learn all the crazy punctuation that you need for a well-formed regular expression, which is this thing that computer guys like me use to basically do magic. Seriously, if you don't know regex and you work on a computer, you need to learn. And a spaced repetition is the way to learn! It's so good. Okay, so unlike normal flashcards where you're just like looking at the front, trying to remember what the thing is, looking at the back going, oh my god, I don't even know that. Or conversely, the other side of that coin, which is I've seen this again and I already know this one. A spaced repetition system is generally, but not always, a computer-aided way to space out the flashcards so that you don't end up looking at the flashcards that you know off by heart and you spend more time on the flashcards that you have a harder time with. So generally people use a software program, the king of them all, Anki. Links down in the doobly-doo. The principle is so simple, you can actually do it with a bunch of index cards and shoe boxes. You have five boxes and each box represents an interval. The interval can be anywhere between five minutes to even a couple of weeks. Now, when you're first learning material, you put it into the five minute box and you test yourself. If you get the answer right, it moves up to the next box. If you don't, it stays in the five minute box. Let's say the next box up was the one hour box. In an hour, go through all the cards in that box and every time you got an answer right, the card would jump to the next box level up, say one day. If you get the answer wrong, it moves down to the review in five minute box. You don't wanna try and do this with all 2000 kanji immediately. You wanna limit yourself to say five to 25 factoids per day, depending on the material, your familiarity and other factors. You can use other techniques with a spaced repetition system to help you memorize stuff. Things like setting up mental journeys or something called the Dominic system. There's a whole host of these memory tricks that you can use. But knowing that a tool like this exists can be a real big help the next time you want to try and remember some crazy regular expression or even have a test on when the Gettysburg address was or if you're proud Canadian like my own bad self, when they brought home the damn constitution. So unfortunately, its scope is somewhat minimal. Like you're not exactly gonna learn a new programming language or even spoken language this way, but this will help you learn the vocabulary or even just the operators and key words of your verbal or programming language. All right, so I hope that helps you out. And remember kids, repetition is fun. Repetition is fun. I've totally done this before. Repetition is fun.